when I was uh, in school, I always thought, I always took my classes, and I thought one day I will be. When I went teaching, I thought teaching profession is a good profession, noble profession. And I taught a lot of young people who left my school in Brandy, went to Karawan. One example is Bernard Narakovi with a group of people. We cannot send them to Australia because they were too old to go to Australia. Australia, you have to be 12 and a half to go to Australia, secondary school. So thanks to Australians, they created the Karawat and Dregahafen and Sugeri, grade, uh, to grade 11 and 12, and yeah. So Bernard went, went there and he got, uh, he topped the class of New South Wales Living Certificate. They, by then, the administration decided they should use Australian curriculum. And the good thing about them, and they didn't do any, uh, they never thought of it. But when they started, Papua New Guineans from everywhere started catching up. From Karabat, from Sigeri, from Dragafen. Dragafen is even Chafen anyway. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. German name. Yeah. <laughs> so we all started this way, and I believe Papua New Guineans can do it. And I still believe we can achieve a lot, and we have now, you know, we have now young people. You know, people are really prepared. For We're building our country. Everything is going well. Yes, there are us in politics. You know, there are always change of government. Yeah. Sometimes I wish that I should have stayed all the time. But I wrote the constitution. I had moments, I got moments, and your father, everybody was giving idea about this independence. Everybody was talking about we should be ourselves. Perhaps two of them were thinking of becoming bishops and cardinals, <laughs> but they failed. Yes. One of them failed. <laughs> I was thinking of becoming a Prime Minister of a country one day, <laughs> yes. and I did. <laughs> <laughs> I think you, uh, you chose the right profession. <laughs> yes, I chose the right profession. <laughs> um, Grand Chief, I wanted to ask you, how did the Bully Beef Club start, or the Pangu Party? The Pangu Party started with uh, myself and Joseph Nombri and uh, quite a few people at the Administrative Staff College. We got together with uh, a very well-known uh, uh, citizen of our country, from uh, Morbe, Tony Butas, he's an Australian, but, uh, and the Barry Holloway. Yes, the Barry. They start talking about the uh, independence of Papua New Guinea. And uh, we get together and talk about what we can do together. And we start talking about uniting people, get together, get uh, like-minded people together to take decisions. And that's what we did. We get decisions that uh, we can come together, and we can work together, we can achieve our aim of independence. And uh, we started Bully Beef Club in that way. Bully Beef Club is, uh, you know, sometimes uh, some of our people misbehave. Yes. Like my brother Joseph Nombri, he's <laughs> gone now, but I hope he's in heaven. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we send him to go and, go and raid his place and get <laughs> Some and we have chimbus up in a plantation. Yes, to go and talk to them and sell uh, some of the stuff, get the uh, get the uh, buy corn beef, yes. things like that from the local store up in Sigeri. Yes, sell it out to people, and we are able to make a bit of money that way. Okay, uh, and uh, and that's what the name would be. Yeah, no, but we have club came from uh, administrative staff college. We used to do that, you know. I sent Joseph Nomri and uh, Jerry Nalao out and listen, you people go and tell your one dogs and give us some. And in the afternoon, they escaping to the, our kitchen, our house cook, grab one or two beef. beef. After lectures, everybody going to sleep. We sit down and talk politics and Eat bully beef. And uh, call it beef, uh, bully beef club, uh, bully beef. <laughs> and we call our club, bully beef club. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs>
and that later on turned into yeah, Pango the, Party. Yeah, it yeah. Led, led on, later on to, turned to Pango Party, yeah. Yes. Oh, what a story. <laughs> um, yeah, Grand Chief, uh, we've, we, I, I thank you myself because uh, now in my country I can start a business, I can, I don't have to be worried about uh, oppressions and yeah. I can do whatever I want to do. Yeah. And uh, many people like uh, yeah. elder generation Papua New Guinea told me back in the day, I think my father used to argue with a lot of expatriates when he yeah, goes yeah. to a golf club and your club. Because, yeah, no, no. Uh, he said they still, he felt that they still look down on blacks and um, that's why he, I was used to wonder why, why, why are you so uh, angry towards the, uh, especially the, uh, the expatriates. Yeah. But now I kind of get to understand the, the mindset back then and uh, basically I thank you uh, you guys fought the fight and now it's up to us younger Papua New Guineans to uh, well, take up the fight and yeah. keep on going that's right yes, yes, yes.